Hello everyone, it's Max with Crypto Talk. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Quant just here briefly. If you're not familiar with Quant, by all means, do more of your own research. You're going to want to learn a little bit more than just getting something from a five minute video. I was going to state, for the record, Quant is one of those ISO 222 compliant tokens slash coins, but they're standing ahead of the pack right now in regards to price action. What exactly am I talking about? Well, let's get right into it. So as we see right here, when it comes to quant, the price performance analysis basically shows that at the beginning of the month, quant saw an index price of $51.80 in the last 15 days. And the price of QNT token shot up over uh, uh, 92%. And at the time of writing, the price per QNT token was paid at $99.72 has gone up since then um, currently he's at $105.58 but what's important to know is um, for instance not just that 92% growth that was recorded in the last 15 days but check this out it's currently ranked um, it says 43 but it's actually about 44th right now on CMC the ranking of crypto assets with the largest market capitalization it gave for Quan. At the time of writing, QNT's market capitalization stood at 100, I'm sorry, 1.2 billion. Now, going further, another key thing I want to point out was uh, this right down here. On the daily chart, the relative strength index spotted in the uh, overbought region of $71.06. But another thing to point out was this showed a significant accumulation of the QNT tokens and that, you know, that basically was reflected within the last 24 hours. Of course, you can view more of the chart in that regard. It's not too technical, so don't be intimidated by it. But another thing I also want to point out is this right here. <clears throat> the number of unique addresses that traded QNT tokens within the period under review saw a 50% growth. At the time writing, daily active addresses on the network stood at 1,834 addresses. Now, that might not seem like it's a lot, but it's really, really significant because within the last 15 days, uh, the aggregate amount of QNT tokens across all transactions completed rose by 51%. Um, and then on top of that, another thing I want to point out is this right here. Socially, the token saw traction in the period under review. Its social dominance has grown by 200%. And the social volume also record a 122% uptick. Now get this also, of course, on CMC, um, on that seven day average is roughly at like 39%. Um, you know, you could probably round it out to 40, but it's really, really cool to see this because currently, like I mentioned, it's ranked 44th. And on top of that, this is what really grabbed my attention is the icing on the cake. Announced two hours ago, Business Magazine at Fast Company recently covered their initiative to open new cross-border and domestic payment opportunities in Latin America and the Caribbean, of course, with LAC Chain and the Oracle Startup. What are the key words here? New cross-border uh, payment opportunities. What strikes you with that if you know about ISO 222 compliant uh, tokens and so on? Well, cross-border, you immediately think of SWIFT. Quant right now is standing ahead of the pack when it comes to price action. It doesn't mean the likes of XRP ain't going to kick in and so on. But let's face it, the whole concept of ISO 222 compliant tokens. Quant definitely stands ahead of the pack. I, of course, I'm going to do a little bit more of my own research, but for the most part, I'm convinced that Quant is really solid. Of course, it costs a lot more, sitting at about $105.66. But if anything, I thought I'd go ahead and point out to you guys what I thought was significant, and that's what I basically did. So let me know what you guys think in regards to Quant being ahead of the pack as far as ISO 222 um, compliant tokens for the current time being. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching today's video on Quant. You all have a blessed day, and we'll see you on the next one.